welcome to the CTU fortnightly vlog. We thought we might do these uh, every fortnight just to give you uh, a bit of information about anything big that's happening in the union movement and obviously uh, at the moment we're involved in an extremely nasty lockout of 111 meat workers in the Rangatiki area of Martin. They work for ANSCO uh, and, but the company itself is called CMP and they kill premium lamb products and ship them off to the Waitrose supermarkets in the UK. The company Ansco also provides beef uh, to McDonald's in the Asia Pacific region. So what's gone on here, 19th of October, um, these workers were basically locked out as the company forces them to take, or tries to force them to take a 20% pay cut. And you would have heard in the media the company trying to dress all of that up. But we've got the figures, they haven't disputed the figures, and in fact we've got letters from them. What they say they're trying to do is cut 15% out of the production cost from the time a lamb comes into the door to the time it goes out. And all of that is being taken off wages. They're cutting the daily rate of pay, they're cutting the rate per animal, uh, uh, which is killed, they're cutting the cleaning allowance which these workers get which is about $30 a week and they clean their equipment in their own time the night shift allowance, a whole range of things and then there's a whole lot of really nasty things in the collective that they're trying to put in the requirement to bring in a sick note after one day a reduction in things like the long service leave, redundancy pay to get rid of the requirement to give the union a deductions form. So while they're trying to dress all of this up as a cost saving, they've also got some very nasty and oppressive provisions which they're also seeking to include. So what uh, the CTU's got right behind these workers, obviously the company's strategy is just to point blank lock them out until they're forced to take these cuts and return to work. And it's extremely severe on that picket line. If you go out there, you'll see these people really struggling away to not be forced to do this, to resist it. The workers themselves have offered to take a 10% pay cut, which is actually heartbreaking that they feel even the need to do this, but they've done that in an effort to pull the company forward to try and get them to accept this deal. And the company is just absolutely taking a hard line and saying, no way, you take the lot if you want to work for us. They're on between forty-three dollars and $46,000 a year. These are not high wages. These are seasonal workers. You can uh, see their standard of living when you visit them, and I tell you what, they're not living in luxury. Obviously, we're heading into Christmas. It's an incredibly serious dispute. So our targets, our three targets are the company itself. Uh, Sir Graham Harrison is the chairman of the board and also a, a major shareholder in ANSCO, two Japanese companies as well. And we want to put pressure on him. We know they need these workers. That are coming into the peak of the season. and These are the skilled workers that have been locked out. We're trying to pick them off one at a time. They need your support money to stay out. Uh, picket line support right through the summer if they're on that picket line they need you out there with them and day to day we really need unionists committing one day a week one day a fortnight to go up there and be on the picket line it starts very early in the morning but it's good for the spirit and uh, they really appreciate everyone that turns up second target is mcdonald's we are trying to get mcdonald's to say to ANSCO, they're concerned about this, they want them to settle it, they don't want a supply chain that's tainted by this sort of industrial action, uh, and um, so we have picketed McDonald's already, but we're doing flying pickets around McDonald's, we intend to keep pressuring McDonald's, and McDonald's can't be a family restaurant when it's starving these families, when or when it's buying beef off a company that is trying to starve these families back to work onto low wages. The third target is uh, the uh, Waitrose supermarkets in the UK, and um, they are a high-end, a bit like more Wilson's here or Nosh. Um, they are a high-end supermarket where the people who could buy products there do so because they like the ethical supply chain idea. And Waitrose has signed up to an ethical pledge. And the brilliant, brilliant union in the uh, UK, uh, a union called Unite, which is the biggest private and public sector union in the uh, UK, has just been amazing. We've had a meat worker over there to meet with them. And they have written to Waitrose. Waitrose has put pressure on the company. Companies ignored them. Um, and uh, so we're continuing to uh, put pressure on Waitrose to put more pressure on uh, ANSCO get, to get them to move. So please, we've got a lockout number, 0900 lockout. When you ring that, you make a $5 donation. You could, if you've got a workplace that would sponsor a family, we are trying to get 50 families sponsored so they've got a real security around food uh, and basic bills. And uh, we've got a whole lot of action. Please stay in touch. Please keep supporting these workers. And let's make sure that when employers lock workers out in this way, they know that they're going to be in for a fight. And this is the, um, the fight that we're up against with this company. Thanks.